All right, so first, a quick story about Classcraft. The developers actually met with some teachers in my school. They actually ran a nice uh, PD session for them a few years ago. Really generous guys, really nice guys. And the point of their platform is to try to create fun and engagement through gamification in the class. However, the entire class isn't necessarily run through the platform. It's just a way that you can add in uh, certain gamified elements to your class in a variety of ways. So if you go to Classcraft, you can see here they have a lot of different uh, resources that you can check out if you want to dive in. We're just going to point to a few of them right off the bat. The first thing is that each student has uh, an avatar. And what happens is they can customize this and as they get certain achievements throughout class, uh, you can actually set certain tasks so that they get experience points or gold points as they're called in here. Called in here. So um, a lot of different ways that you can spark engagement through that. But also there's ways that they can do collaborative activities, you can group students, and then you can also create your own personalized pathways of activities for students. And as they progress through, you can provide them with quick uh, feedback through the Classcraft platform so that they get certain achievements along the way. All right, I just want to take a few seconds to show you some of the different uh, screenshots from it just to get a better idea of what this might look like in practice. So here you can see how the Classcraft platform looks like you have your different classes set up and within each one of the classes you can have uh, certain management tools where you can give kids feedback uh, and track some progress throughout your class. So once you get into Classcraft you can actually see for each one of the students they have a few different uh, metrics and one of them is called HP, AP, XP, and GP. Essentially, these are all different forms of feedback that you can provide students based on different things you set up in class. So it could be something as simple as, you know, working well with other students in class, you can give them like, like a plus 150 XP for noticing that type of activity. The health points on, on the other hand, they actually can be for maybe redirection of students and a lot of this might be more on the, the behavior or the SEL side of things as opposed to the purely academic ones. Um, but you have a lot of ability to customize this however you want. And the GP is actually a way that they can accrue certain points and with those points, they can customize their character. And if any of you guys have kids or have worked with kids that are kind of like upper elementary, middle school age, they love this idea of being able to customize characters and add skins or uh, different um, elements to their, their character in a game. So that's essentially how the, um, the feedback system works is you actually would provide them with feedback and it would go into this platform. So this is an example of some of the positive behaviors that you can have as uh, something that students would go into and achieve throughout their, their course. So again, a lot of this stuff wouldn't necessarily be things that they're doing in Classcraft. They might be just doing it in class in general, but you are recognizing it and giving them feedback and giving them the credit within the Classcraft platform for doing that good deed, such as being respectful to others or asking an insightful question. Now, some ways students may lose points, and this is that HP coming in. So these are what's called negative health beha uh, negative behaviors. Uh, so for instance, if you give up when faced with a technical problem, you might get a minus five HP. However, there's ways that you can set it up where they can quickly redeem themselves and earn those health points back uh, by demonstrating that they actually fought through that challenge or that um, they, they acted in a more positive way in the future. Now this is an example of different class tools that you can use to gamify your classroom. A lot of different options here, but one is like a timer, stopwatch, a grade converter, formative assessments are called boss battles. So in a way, it's kind of, if you think back to the section I did on gamification, a lot of it's things that you would normally do in a classroom already, but essentially you're rebranding it. You're calling it something slightly different, um, but hey, if it engages kids and it gets them more interested in doing it, why not? And this platform gives you some more tools to do that uh, in a more automated way. So again, if you're interested in using a tool like this, go to classcraft.com, check it out. Uh, there are other platforms out there that do similar types of things, um, but this one stands out to me as the most refined at this point, and they were really early in the game of trying to build out a tool like this for their teachers and kids.